Here I have another type of the question. It's related to the union of states A and B. All right. This uh, uh, this question I have taken from the uh, previous year questions uh, from the New York State Examination. Uh, here, the given the state A is three six nine twelve and fifteen, and B is here two four six eight ten and twelve. And what is the union of state A and B? Okay. So uh, we are given here the state A. All right. That is three six nine twelve and fifteen all right and similarly we have given another seat that is two four six eight ten and then twelve now we need to write the union of seat a and b so before writing union of seat a and b we must understand what is union of seats all right so union of seats whenever you say then uh, you have to understand those numbers which are found in all the seats those elements those uh, those members of the seat a and b which are found in a as well as in b or in both all right so simply union of i mean union of union of a and b we represent by uh, a and like a u sign you know a union b all right a union b and this represents uh, the set of the elements you know set of elements set of elements found found in a or in b or in both all right so uh, first i will try to make you understand then we'll take a look on this question uh, this that time it's going to be very easy so here i have let's say i have set a all right set a is containing let's say one two and three all right and set B is containing, let's say, 2, 4, 6, 8. All right. So here, A union B means that is found in A, that is found in B, and found in both. So here, A union B represents all the elements of A, all the elements of B. It means all the elements from A and B we should include here. So, all right. So 1 is here, 2 is here. We cannot repeat because 2 is found here also and here also. And in the set, we don't repeat the numbers. So we'll write this 3. All right, and uh, we write already two, so four is left here now, and then six is here, and the eight is here. This is A union B, and in vein diagram, if you see, if you take a look in vein diagram, all right, let's say this is the union, all right, universal set, uh, and let's say this is representing the set A, and this is representing the set B. Then set A intersection B represents the this common part, this all part, not the common, the all part that is that is in the region of A and that is in the region of B. All right. Same thing if I'm representing in the Venn diagram, then see how I'm going to represent. Uh, see here. Yeah? Let's say this is set A. Let's say this is set B. All right. Uh, I saw few things that is common in this both. You know, I, I, I first when I look the set A and set B, I found few things common. That's why I make like this. If if set A and B were completely uh, not matching with each other, means none of the elements is uh, none of the elements of A is present in B. Then that time I will make the set uh, something differently. That's called disjoint set. All right. That time I will make A like this and B like this. That time I will make A like this and B like this. Let, let me give you an example. Let's say A is here one and two. All right, and B is here. Let's say A and B. All right, that time I'll write here one. I'll write here two. I'll write here A. I'll write here B. So nothing is being a, a common between these two things. All right, that time A intersection uh, A union B. You know that time A union B. Again A union B will be A union B will be uh, all the elements that is found in A and that is found in B. Means from both we need to take. All right, one two A B. That's our A union B that is present in A. And after that, from the B, you know, that is present in A or B. So this one to A B means you need to take the elements from A and B completely, you know. But do not repeat any numbers. It do not repeat any any elements. So here in this case, I found few things common. So what was that few things? The two was common in both. So I'll write here two. All right. And now in A, that is just found in A, which is one and three. And that is just found in B, that is four, six, and eight. So it will be four, six. And eight. So A union B here is representing the all the elements that is present in A or B or both. All right. So like this. All right. Sometimes it may be you know. Sometimes you may get like set A equals to let's say a one, two, three, four. All right. And you'll get the set B let's say uh, two and four. So here A 
A union B in this case if you see all the elements that is found in A all right or from B or from both it means here see here you have here one two three four union two and four did you see that two is also present here and four is also present here in city so no need to no need to think about B you know that time you'll just write one two three and four right all the elements came from set A and from set B and what is this finally this is finally A you know so A union B sometime maybe just A or maybe sometime B so 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 like this you know let's say let's say in this case uh, I'm, I'm giving another example let's say here A is one two three uh, every time I'm taking number I'm taking some uh, alphabets let's say it's A B C all right and now I'm taking here let's say set B that time it is A B C D E all right so now this case A union B A union B means the all elements from A and B all right without any repetition A B C union A B C D and E so here A B C D E means all elements should be here in our new set A union B so it's going to be A B C D and E and did you see here friend A is here also B is here also and C is here also means B is itself containing A you know B is itself containing A so what is this this is B I mean this is something like this you know this is something like this I have a big Venn diagram let's say and I have a bigger set let's say the name is B and I have a smaller set let's say A so A is itself inside the B so that time A union B is just the B and here in this case you know uh, let's say this is my set A and this is set B you know in this case it is means A is containing B all right or sometime you need to take you know sometime you may to take you may have to take A and B both A or B or or or, or sometime you have to take A B or both you know so so A and B means simply the elements that is found in A that is found in B and that is found in both everything okay A or from the B or from the both that's it so now let's took our question I, I, I blow you out uh, uh, out of the topic not out of the topic out of the question okay let's see here so what is found in A and what is found in B all right and what is found in both means we need to take A union B which contains all the elements present in A and B without any repetition all right that should be found in A that should be found in uh, B and in both so let's write from the smaller number two and then we write this now three now four uh, five is there no now let's uh, write six all right uh, we finish this both where it is found and then eight all right and then nine I'm just trying to write in the sequence all right and then ten and then twelve is found in both where all right twelve and then fifteen all right so this is a union b you know the numbers which are found in a or in b or in both so few were in both you know few few numbers here we bo in both we, we found number six and number twelve these two we found in both so in vein diagram if you represent now so what we see that some numbers are in common some numbers are common between two two uh, two a and b so you are going to make now some common parts all right joint set so let's say this is a and this is b and now let's try to fill up first always we feel uh, the Venn diagram from the central part that is common in almost every set all right if we had three here then we had started feeling from the center most central part but we have just two here so since we have two we're just going to feel from this part all right so uh, six is here and similarly we have 12 here all right and now those elements which are found in just a uh, three uh, nine and fifteen three nine and 15 and those elements now which are found in just B 2 4 8 and 10 all right so 2 4 8 and 10 now see everything we have already get so a union B I already told you that is found in a that is found in B and found in both it means finally a and B all without any repetition so you see here we have two here uh, we have three here we have we have we have four here all right we have six here we have eight here we have nine here we have similarly ten here all right and twelve and fifteen all right so everything is here you know so this is a union b 
I hope you understand how to find the A union B. If there is any more confusion or any doubts to ask me, then please feel free to comment below this video. I really appreciate anything to hear from your side. And uh, please subscribe the channel and like the video.